This is either one of the worst wigs on film or this guy's barber's talent is like palliatives. Hi everyone, welcome to Iroka Critic. Critics with receipts. I'm Mrs. Critic. And I'm Mr. Critic. And today we're reviewing Citation. Didn't we do that last week? The movie now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A bright student in Nigeria takes on the academic establishment when she reports a popular professor who tried to rape her. So, this movie. <laughs> Let's do this. First off, this film did many things right with the production. Orange and teal included. Focus, Mrs. C. Focus. Sorry, continue. Many Nollywood movies could be shot in random rooms all over the world without changing the story or effect, but you could feel the presence of the locations. Oh yeah, the locations were excellent. I think we've seen quite a few Nollywood movies with well thought out locations recently. Shout out to Oloture. <laughs> I mean, Cabo Verde and Dakar were lovely, but the university, which was OAU by the way, felt like a character on its own. It was alive and it helped in my enjoyment? of the film you keep telling yourself that but you don't believe it obviously good location is not enough the shots have to be well thought out and mr afolayan delivers some beautiful shots with appealing framings alongside some engaging edits all in great picture quality there's no surprise here as we've come to expect from the nollywood veteran filmmaker the sound also made the locations come alive. The background noise blended into the scenes beautifully. The sound mixing was competent, apart from one or two incidents. Take it down a notch. What else, babe? Oh, the casting was well done. Yeah, unlike some movies where in Curious to Venice is playing. <laughs> playing. <laughs> one review at a time, love. <clears throat> Thankfully, the Citation team made good casting choices for the most part. Everyone in lead roles looked like they fit into the roles and they did really good jobs. Even Temi? Mm, Temi's performance wasn't the strongest, but she was given a difficult job on her debut and she did well for her first timer. It's difficult to emote in another language altogether, but she had to do it in at least three different languages. She did a better job than someone who shall not be named. I think part of it was down to good directing. She'll improve if she keeps at it though. Yeah, I struggled to recognize some of the intended emotions on her face a couple of times. Well, it'll be fine for most people and yeah, if she keeps at it with good directors, better performances will come. Gabriel on the other hand was phenomenal. He's always good though. Yeah, he is. I've seen him in three very different roles recently and I've bought each one. And Professor Lucien? Jimmy Jean-Louis. His wig was miscast, but he played the role he was given quite well. Okay, well, thank you. I think the accent was a plus for me because, <laughs> you know, you know, you know, no. No, no, I don't know. Whatever. He was another good decision. Honorable mentions to Auntie Jacke, who is still such a beautiful woman, and Ibukuma Wosika. How did you forget Professor Lucien's lawyer? He has zero lines, but his face, ugh. <laughs> That's the real star of the show. Anything else? Costume and makeup were generally good, except the wigs, obviously. Popcorn and reels. <laughs> oh, they called it Ampit Hair Level <laughs> Wig. <laughs> Moving on. Now, the karate was well choreographed, even though it didn't really play a role in the movie. And I thought the scene with Kunle and Gabriel Afolayan was really cute. Alright, the bad. <laughs> Ini Edu. Is that it? Let's just say her acting leaves a lot to be desired. Moving on. <laughs> really, that's it? Yep. Next. <laughs> okay. The aspect ratio changing to show flashbacks wasn't the best. It was too small a change, and while people are fine with it, some may find it a little confusing. The dialogue was a letdown. I could buy some of it. Like when Gabriel's character was toasting Morami. But the interactions between Lucien and his class, uh, they're, just, they're just cheesy and cringy. I feel like I should just stand here and pose for photographs. <laughs> <laughs> and my maternal grandmother is from Nigeria. I guess that makes me a Niger boy. <laughs> 
year and the pacing was a letdown. There was not enough in there to justify a two and a half hour runtime. This film could have been an hour shorter and I wouldn't have lost much. It was like watching filler episodes. Even the characters felt like filler characters. The supportive friend who wanted to date the vapid friend and the boyfriend who is a good toaster but has jealousy issues did nothing to further the plot. Even her counsel could have been taken out of the film and the road from conflict to resolution would remain the same. But it picked up towards the end. The tension was lacking throughout though because the film takes it all away as it starts after the accusation of sexual assault was made and then we flash back to show you what leads up to the citation. So it's kind of watching a movie but starting near the end with the spoiler and then going on to the beginning. It's not like this can't be pulled off. Some of my favorite movies start like this but where you start with should be unusual. It should make us go ooh what happened to make us get here. Then I'm excited to go on the journey but unfortunately there is nothing unusual about a lecturer trying to get off with a student. Do you think you can graduate from this school without kissing my cock? <laughs> you are dead wrong. And the journey on its own is just not very engaging. But one of the biggest errors of the movie was the off-screen resolution. Yeah, that was... Not good. The movie is essentially a courtroom drama. The clue is in the name. And we don't even watch the evidence that's the piece de resistance. Piece de resistance? Piece de resistance. Piece de resistance? Uh, je ne crois, I don't know. <laughs> there was too much focus on fluff and not enough on the actual substance of the story. The film had a message. It's the second we've reviewed from Mr. Afolaya and if you haven't seen our opinion on message films, I'm sure there's a link to it below. It gives us more than many other message films have, but my issue is the actual message. Trust the system. It just opposes the students who tried to handle it themselves and had a horrifying outcome. This university has a forum for airing such grievances. But you ignored that platform to take to the option of being the jury and uh, judge. Now, instead of your female student to hand over to the university uh, authorities the recorded conversation, her boyfriend decided to lay a trap. With our me, who takes it to the Senate full of kind, reasonable individuals just looking for truth and justice. But that is sadly not the reality of many female Nigerian students. We're not advocating jungle justice. We're just saying trust the system is kind of a dangerous message to send in Nigeria, especially regarding sexual assault. Maybe OAU is different, yeah? But we don't even have conviction statistics, and the unofficial numbers thrown around are poor. I wonder if this was the film he set out to make, or it had just turned out this way because he was working with the university, and an advocacy group. It won't ruin your enjoyment of the movie, but it bugged me. Trust the system only works if the system works. Finally. Orange and two. <laughs> or, or you thought you could escape. <laughs> you think you can make it to the end of this video. We be out <laughs> hearing about Orange and two. Babe, we already have an Orange and two video. Do they need another lecture? Just one small one. <sighs> Please, just 20 seconds, bear with me. It's kind of different from what I've said before. This movie takes place in different locations, in different countries, and at different times, but it always looks the same. It's always orange and teal, and that is just a failure of using color grading as one of the tools to create a distinction between different times and location. All done? Done. So would you recommend? I always want people to watch Nigerian movies except when they're chief daddy. Spoiler alert, I think this is bad. Because the more people watch it, the more Nollywood can make from it, and I think the better we will be. You've heard our review. The story is competent, the production is good, for the most part. The acting is pretty good, and if not for anything else, watch, watch it for, it for this guy's face. face. All right, guys, that's it from us. Have you seen it? What did you think? Uh, tell us in the comments down below. Click like if you like, dislike if you don't, and subscribe if you're here to stay. Until then, see you next Sunday. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.